Hello and welcome to Kindred Spirit Tarot. This is your daily message for all zodiac signs for Tuesday the 17th of August 2021. Thank you so much for joining me. If it's your first visit, welcome. If you are returning, then welcome back and thank you. For today's reading, I am using the Tarot of Mystical Moments by Catherine Veltz Stein. So, friends, <laughs> a big date today, August the 17th. It is two years. Wow, I can't believe it. Two years since we said goodbye to Ruby and her magnificent earth suit and hello to Ruby, the kind red spirit. I can't believe it's been two years. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. OK, well, let's start with our daily inspiration. This time from Daily Healing, Cards for Awakening Your Best Self. Well, here we go. What is the message from Spirit? Thank you. And the reverse of your card looks like that. And your message is, take time to tune into your body and recognise the messages it's trying to send you. Wow. Tune into your body, your frequency, your vibration and recognise what it's trying to to say to you okay well this deck is quite chaotic so I have to give it a little bit of a helping hand <laughs> there we go and here we go What is the message from Spirit? Thank you. For my wonderful friends. Woo! Okay. I told you this deck was chaotic. <laughs> there we go. What is the message from Spirit? And there we go. And I feel that that card is placing itself at the beginning okay so if you recall this is the deck that has um, both male and female kings and also a male and female emperor okay so your cards are <laughs> major arcana number 11 justice placing itself in exactly the same place as it, as it did for monday's reading wow <laughs> oh there are no coincidences friends and next you have the king of wands and this is the female king of wands followed by the knight of pentacles Wow, wow, wow. Okay, so your first card, Major Arcana, number 11, Justice. Major Arcana, speak of your inner world, your inner knowing, your major inner knowledge. And in this illustration, well, we see Justice um, sitting on top of these high-rise buildings, um, getting... Um, an all-encompassing viewpoint um, and let's say that this is a viewpoint of of you and your life um, from this vantage point um, justice can kind of see well how you are doing um, can also see um, your energy, uh, your vibration, your frequency, I am hearing. Um, and from this vantage point, um, it's going to be giving you information, I am hearing. OK, um, so I do always think about justice as being um, uh, the, the one that the card that helps you balance up your mind um, and balancing the mind um, in along with 
your body and your spirit I'm also hearing. Um, oh, okay, this is balancing up the God part of yourself and the love light part of yourself i am also hearing from spirit wow <laughs> um okay it's a number 11 so it's a master builder number it's illumination but i'm really being drawn almost to um the number three um, if we think here that justice um the person um holding the sword and holding the scales um this is the balance of the three um of the mind body and spirit coming together so that you are all in agreement all in your in your truth and your honesty and your integrity justice always looking out for fair outcomes uh, justice is kind of a, a firm but fair energy um, justice can be her own authority uh, is a sovereign being um, and she can be really I'm hearing strict is the word so maybe some of you need to be a bit more strict with yourself um, stepping a bit more into the masculine energy of parenting yourself I am also hearing um, but justice calling you to do it's about doing the right thing doing the right thing i am hearing wow <laughs> because you've got this new vantage point spirit is saying um this is rising this vibration from yesterday's reading um the higher you go in the cosmos the more of a vantage point you have the better of an all-encompassing um viewpoint um uh, not just of your life but of what is going on around you i am also hearing wow <laughs> oh and look here justice i'm just noticing does have her head in the clouds a uh, cosmic connection much <laughs> oh yes for sure okay and next well, yesterday we had the King of Pentacles. Today you've got the King of Wands. Um, this is the female King of Wands. So um, this is a perfect harmony I'm feeling here of um, a masculine and feminine energy bringing you into wonderful balance. So the first thing I'm noticing is the King of Wands dressed entirely in this gorgeous shade of vibrant red um, with this wonderful a peony behind her that is absolutely in full bloom and the king of wands actual wand um, well you can actually see the energy um the frequency the vibration that is coming from this uh from the wand um and this wand it's element of fire so it is representing your goals dreams your desires your passions um and the king of wands um a go getter energy um likes to live in style um likes all the nice things in life all the luxurious things in life likes to be comfortable um and another man master manifester energy um so the king of wands another energy that understands about manifesting um but is all about the action um Whereas the King of Wands more the gardener sowing the seeds and then knowing that there's that little bit of time where you need to be patient. Uh, the King of Wands um, kind of not much of a patient energy, but is more about action. So you are being called to action, I am hearing. Uh, and this is more action about bringing yourself into balance. Um, OK, and the first card of our inspiration, really helping you with uh, bringing you into balance by taking time to tune into your body, recognise the messages it is trying to send you, uh, what needs to go, uh, what needs to um, be given more energy to, to bring you into this wonderful balance. Wow, wow, wow. And next you have the Knight of Pentacles. So knights, they are, they are about journey. They are usually about movement. Um, they are um, 
adventure, um, honour, they can be about impulse. Uh, but the Knight of Pentacles, Pentacles Earth energy. Uh, so this is more of this gardener energy. And here this Knight of Pentacles um, on her trusty steed, um, really overlooking her land, her garden. We can see here that there has been some planting going on. Um, but the Knight of Pentacles, just like the King, really understanding about patience, about uh, the time about allowing um, the Knight of Pentacle 2 knows that there is a time where the seed that that he has sown or she has sown um, is unseen uh, in the physical um, but really understands about about patience um, and allowing I am also hearing um, so I feel the message here from spirit is for um, it's calling you to really listen and tune in uh, to yourself what needs to go what do you need to give more uh, energy to uh, what of your dreams desires and passions really deserve more energy um, what do you need <laughs> what do you need to um, interject war spirit <laughs> what do you need to interject more into your life to bring you more into balance and to bring more um, patience energy this is a real solid steadfast energy I am hearing oh wow 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 knights collectively um, are a fire energy so this energy is um, a mixture of um of earth and fire um, but it is you knowing that as you walk the earth plane uh, you are always going to be led towards your dreams your goals and desires and the only thing that stops you achieving those is you and it's when you're out of kilter spirit is saying so again this is more of you know bringing your your god head <laughs> your god head and uh your light and love all into balance and harmony i am hearing wow 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 Whew, okay well next we will have the uh, spirit animal oracle by colette baron reed What is the message from Spirit for my wonderful friends? Ooh. For Tuesday the 17th of August 2021. What do my wonderful friends need to know? What is the message from Spirit? Tuesday the 17th of August 2021 oh gosh <laughs> okay let me just retrieve the card Whoop. oh sorry friends I didn't mean to, to knock you made you look like you were going uphill then <laughs> okay and let's lower the camera and your animal spirit oracle car is oh wow you get pig spirit use your mind wisely oh, wow 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 okay and 47 <laughs> of course is another number 11 i'm just going to leave it at 11 as a master builder number and the number that is representing your illumination wow pig spirit appears to remind you of the right use of intelligence a gift we all have that is meant to be used with love compassion and discernment intelligence means recognizing the value of intuition partnered with smarts and common sense, which leads to intelligent solutions. When pig spirit appears, you are called to respect your analytical mind and use it for the highest good. Recognising that all facts must be considered, even when they do not fit with what you already know. Spirit blesses us with, the wis with wisdom 
when we allow pig spirit to nudge us into open-minded, thoughtful dialogues, whether with others or internally as we mull over our ideas and what we have come to understand. You are intelligent and capable of clear-minded thinking shaped by the wisdom that you have accumulated and the intuition that will tell you when you have more learning to do because not all of the facts are in. Now is a time that your decision-making powers are reliable for you are in alignment with pig spirit's keen intelligence. Oh, friends! <coughs> Wow. <laughs> OK. Next, we will have Sacred Destiny Oracle from Denise Lynn. Woo. OK, thank you. <laughs> flying. These cards are flying. Okay, and your Sacred Destiny Oracle card is trust. <laughs> trust yourself, Spirit is saying. Really trust yourself, trust your intelligence, trust what's coming into your mind, using your mind wisely. Okay. Oh gosh, there we go. <laughs> no, we don't. <laughs> yes, we do. Oh dear. Okay. Trust. Desert vision. The desert seems parched and devoid of life. Yet it is to the desert that spiritual sojourners go to gain messages from the Creator. Traditionally, the desert is the place of spiritual cleansing, renewal profound healing visions. Just as desert terrains can feed our souls, they also nourish lands thousands of miles away. For example, the Sahara Desert and the Amazon Rainforest are a great distance from each other. One is a vast dry area of sand and scrub, while the other moist, lush and green. And yet they are connected. Annually, Thousands of tonnes of nutrient-rich dust from the Sahara crosses continents into the upper atmosphere and deposits vital phosphorus and other minerals to the Amazon, which is needed, which is needful of those exact nutrients. The sacred landscape wants you to know this is a powerful and important card to receive. Even when things seemed parched or not fruitful, a deeper energy speaks of the power of your inner knowing. Meditate. Trust those nudges from the universe. Your celestial advisors are close now. You are now open to receive some of the most important messages of your life through your intuition. Your intuition is spot on, so trust it. And even if, if there are some areas of your life that seem lacklustre, know that other areas are being fertilised for a resplendent future. Have faith and know that there is a higher purpose. Oh, friends! <laughs> wow, wow, wow! Well, OK, here we go. The Magic of Unicorns by Diana Cooper, whom I lovingly call my trusty steeds. And let's call on the beautiful Ruby now, the kind red spirit. Here we go. What is the message from Ruby, the kind red spirit, for my wonderful friends? Tuesday, 17th of August, 
2021. Thank you, Ruby. And your card from Ruby, the kind red spirit, is... Oh, wow. Well, we had 44 yesterday with the seventh ray and Ruby giving us 44 again today. Um, really telling you, friends, that... Oh boy, are you really laying yourselves a solid, solid, strong foundation? Ruby says, I am presence. Expand your stellar gateway. I am that I am. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Ruby giving us the most powerful card of the deck. She says, congratulations. When you receive this card, it suggests that you are connecting with your monad or I am presence or you are preparing to do so. Your ascension path commences when you anchor and activate your 12 fifth dimensional chakras. Working with your unicorn accelerates your journey. So first, ask it to illuminate your earth star chakra beneath your feet then be aware of its pure light moving up through your base sacral navel solar plexus heart throat third eye crown causal and soul star chakras before igniting the golden orange chalice of your stellar gateway above your head your stellar gateway is the the charge of archangel metatron and is your link to your I am presence, your original divine spark from source. It is directly connected to, I don't know this word, uh, Nigella, um, N I G E L L A Y, the ascended aspect of Mars, which is the cosmic stellar gateway chakra, carrying peaceful spirit warrior energy. When you tune into it, your unicorn brings you a download of peace and courage. Archangel Metatron's vast chalice is also connected to the great central sun and millions of light codes are drawn into your stellar gateway from there. Your I am presence uses them to support your soul and bring you happiness. The most potent I am affirmation of all. I am that I am enables you to embrace the fraction of a second, the light of your monad. Your guidance is to sit quietly and illuminate each chakra in turn with unicorn light, then connect through your stellar gateway to your I am presence. And Ruby says this is how to connect with your I am. To sit or stand quietly, be aware of your stellar gateway chakra, a huge ball of golden orange light above your head. Ask Archangel Metatron to bring it down over you. Your unicorn lights it up. Sense it linking to your I am presence and know this is accelerating your ascension journey. Your affirmation is I am that I am. I am that I am. I am that I am. Wow. <laughs> oh, wow, friends. Oh, gosh. OK, so we have two gold, um, divine masculine, one silver, divine feminine. Um, and the two gold I will bring together. And I'm not surprised, but we have two butterflies. And where would you like to go? OK, one's going on justice. And the other one's going on Ruby's card. This is really representing the huge transformational change that although you might think is only minor, um, but but <laughs> from the other side of the veil is absolutely magnificent, I'm being told. And also you have a beautiful little love heart, which does say on it, made with 
love. Oh, and this is come for you straight from the divine uh, love hearts. Well, a heart, it's about love, compassion, um, understanding, loving and giving, affection. Um, also, the heart uh, is where your, your courage um, and your um, inner power also comes from, I am hearing. OK, where would you like to go? And going on the King of Wands for all of the things that you are manifesting for yourself and bringing into the physical spirit, reminding you to come from that heart centre, reminding you to be in balance, to be in the um, mind, body and spirit where your thoughts, words and actions are all congruent and all matching. <laughs> wow, 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 friends, huge energies are around, big transformation taking place, um, but I do see you um, really um, harmonising is the word I'm being given, balancing and most assuredly levelling up. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Well, thank you for all of your likes, your shares. Welcome new subscribers. Thank you so much for your support. You have joined a wonderful family of kindred spirits. Thank you too for your warm, kind, encouraging comments and emails. I really enjoy receiving them. So do keep them coming. And so, my wonderful friends, may favour be with you all, as I wish you a joyful, a peaceful and a truly blessed day. And until next time, my friends, goodbye.